I want you to get more day entertainment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and check out the website to get the gear. The link will be in the description. From the land of the gang, signs and blue rags Where we post up, never hesitate to blast Where the weak don't last and the strong end up on the map From the Golden State, where the real just be at From the LA County, homie, where we know to bang Shit, it's nothing growing up, you knew you had a back Put it down for the vital, never will I rank Want to do to all the time, you better watch your back Cause she'll crack up, homie, it don't matter where you at This is real gangster shit, only talking facts It's the truth, ain't no lie, we don't need no caps Just a Glock stolen whip in a blasky mask Shit is nothing busting highlights, we don't need a brag From the list G-File now here we have one of the most biggest neighborhoods in the SGV, one of the most notorious neighborhoods within this area, one that has made uh, the news several times um, for all kinds of, you know, Rico acts and, you know, drug sales, arms sales, you know, all kinds of federal charges on these guys, um, you know. You know, I know they did like a sweep on them, you know, where they rounded up more than like 61 members or something like that. Um, so, you know, heavy, heavy duty stuff. This neighborhood is well connected, well established, has the representatives. Uh, they're in the midst of action, you know what I mean? They're they're always involved in all kinds of activities. Like I said, uh, the Sousa neighborhood, homie, is a neighborhood that's not to be played with, homie. These guys have the riders. They put it down. You know, you hear about these guys over here. You know, people can't even say that you don't. You know what I mean? It is one of the most largest neighborhood in this area. I was told that they're roughly more than about 500 members, or so roughly more than about 500 members. I don't know about you, but... That's a big amount, you know, and due to the fact that they own a big chunk of territory, I will say that their territory is from uh, Sierra Madre um, all the way to Arrow Highway and from Vernon Avenue all the way to um, uh, Citrus Avenue. So everything that's in the middle is considered the neighborhood. Yes, that's a big, big chunk of territory. You know what I mean? Massive amount of territory. Um you know what I mean? But they have the manpower, you know what I mean? And and they continue to rule the area with an iron fist. It's not until the Centennial Boys had just barely established themselves, but, you know, they were the only neighborhood, you know, that was dominated right there in their area. You know what I mean? Um, Because this neighborhood is with the business, you know, right there in the Atlantis Gardens uh, neighborhood. That is where their main domain, their main dojo, the heart of their hood, that shit to where it be cracking at. You know what I mean? Um like I said, these guys do not play around. They with the business. Um, known to put in work. Um, and control their area with a nine with an iron fist. You know what I mean? Uh, that's just how they get down. Uh, they tend to feud with the West Covina neighbors, you know, and uh, the black gangs like West Covina Mob, uh, West Covina Neighborhood Cribs, uh, the Baldwin neighborhoods, obviously, El Montes. Um, you know, like, you know, all kinds of neighborhoods. Now, um, this neighborhood... Right here, um, the Sousa neighborhood also is, has another separate uh, hood, you know what I mean? Uh, separated, but, but staying roughly close to, um, you know, their original home base. You also have them right here, was located on Avenue on uh, Conejo. Um, so Avenue Conejo um, is where you can find them too, right there by Del, uh, Del Sol, uh, Calle del Sol, Calle de Luna. Um, you know, Estrada, all, all of that, you can find them, you know, over there and on that side too. You know what I mean? They have, they have, you know, roughly a more smaller, uh, click over there, um, that continues to, you know, represent for theirs and holding it down. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, that's what's up with the Azusa neighborhood. Definitely, definitely with a big presence right here. Um, and continue to represent theirs and definitely putting theirs on the map. But that's what's up with the Azusa neighborhood right there. Now, right here also in Azusa, we have uh, a neighborhood that um, is not originated from here, but migrated over here. You have the Barrio Centennial Boys. Now, Barrio Centennial Boys is obviously located in East Leon Centennial, um, but they have um, located and established themselves in several different locations, like um, Watts, um, like in um, Palmdale, I was told, and uh, over here in Azusa. Um, roughly more of a smaller clique, but they are established. You know what I mean? You see the activity by these guys going at it with heavily with Azusa. You know what I mean? Um, you definitely both neighborhoods seem to have an animosity because uh, the Centennial 
Old Boys established themselves uh, right here in which uh, located as um, Azusa's neighborhood, uh, you know, obviously, you know, they were going to take too likely to that. Uh, now, they've been only right here um, since the 2000s, uh, so they don't have that long that they've been here, you know what I mean? And they were roughly small, you know, I was told that they're roughly only uh, about a 12 members, uh, so a lot more smaller, you know, than the bigger uh, Azusa, but nonetheless, homie, they continue to hold their ground, still continue to stay up, because you see the activity, you still see the graffiti by these guys, so, you know, they're still, their prison is still around, and they still maintain it like that, and, uh, you know, putting their on the map, you know what I mean? But that's what's up with the um, Centennial Boys right here in the ASGV representing for theirs. All right, now here in the SGV, we also have uh, one of the more smaller neighborhoods, you know what I mean? Uh, that you roughly don't hear that much about because uh, due to the area where it's located, um, you know, it's roughly small. This neighborhood in general is a roughly small neighborhood. I was told that they're roughly only like about 40 members. It's the Vado Irwindale. Now, Irwindale, you know, or as it's written as I-R-W-A, um, is, you know, roughly a small neighborhood. Now, it's short for Irwindale. Um, now, their neighborhood is just literally was located on Water Street and uh, Heidego Street. So, just that little cul-de-sac is what's considered uh their neighborhood you know what i mean almost close to the produce place um is where you can find their their neighborhood you know what i mean um it's just roughly those you know that small um you know patch of area you know where there's where there's homes um you know right on um Irwindale avenue um you know what I mean? Uh, like I said, this is just roughly a small neighborhood um, due to the fact that, you know, there's not that many, you know, homes like that right there. And it's, you know, it's, you know, roughly a nice area. Um, but like I said, don't ever let the ju don't ever let the looks deceive you because this neighborhood um, is well known. Uh, it does have homeboys that are, you know, behind the doors uh, for putting in that work, homie. So, you know, these guys, you know, chumps, you know, pushover. But that's what's up with our uh, urn window. Even though it's roughly one of the more smaller neighborhoods over here, nonetheless, they still hold it down, still have their riders and be putting theirs on the map. And starting off right here, we have the oldest neighborhood in West Covina. You have the Vada West Covina. Now, Vada West Covina is the largest neighborhood in Covina. Um, have been already well established right here for quite some time. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, since the 80s. Now, the neighborhood is was located from Orange Avenue all the way to Puente. And uh, from Puente to... Um, um, Garvey and from Garvey to uh, Sunset so right there close to the Del Norte Park uh, so everything that's in the middle is what's considered their neighborhood is their main domain their dojo uh, everything you know through the back streets of Del Norte Park all of that area is what's considered the West Covina uh, neighborhood you know what I mean uh, they are the oldest the, the one that's the most known the one that you definitely hear about the one that gives law enforcement a hard time they are the originators out of the West Covina continue to rep theirs you know what I mean they're still standing strong Strong. Like I said, don't ever get the area twisted. They will get it on and pop. And as a matter of fact, they do have some rappers that come out of this neighborhood that put theirs on the map. Go peep out their music. These guys are definitely with the business. These guys ain't no chumps, ain't no suckers. They will lay you down if you come trying to diss. You know what I mean? Uh, that's just how West Covina does it. You know what I mean? These guys are definitely, you know, have their riders and continue to rep theirs. You know what I mean? They even have uh, several clicas. You know what I mean? From the crazy ass youngsters, which is the K's. Uh, you know what I mean? To the, to, um, to the villains, the villains is another one. They have several clicas, you know, that rep theirs, even in the park, you know. Uh, but yeah, that's what's up with their vital, definitely holding it down for theirs and putting theirs on the map, you know. These guys ain't playing, but that's what's up with the West Covina vital right there. Now, here's one that you have right here. You have the Barrio Kingside Covina, the KSC neighborhood. KSC is located on the east of Covina, so not to be confused with West Covina. There's two different barrios. The KSC Kingside um, Covina, um, the name is due to the street because they're on Kingside Drive uh, is where they're located at. You know what I mean? Um, well, they're located in several spots because you can, you can find them in Kingside right there by uh, Ellen, Ellen and Kingside. You know, by uh, Culver Maid uh, Street and uh, Queenside, um, you know, and all of that, you know, by uh, Vicente Avenue is where you can find them. You know what I mean? Uh, you can also find them from Vicente all the way to, um, I would say, all the way to uh, Lark, Ellen, Lark Ellen Avenue. So everything that's in the middle of that will be considered their neighborhood. You know what I mean? Uh, so by uh, um, east of um, e Edena Place uh, and... Uh, by uh brook brookport street is where you can find this neighborhood located at uh because they're also right there on benwood street 
you know, they claim it as one of their clicas. Is where you can find the Kingside, a Covina neighborhood. Roughly a small neighborhood, you know. The neighborhoods in Covina are, are all, you know, typically, you know, small neighborhood. Uh, due to the area being, you know, so expensive and gentrification. And you guys already know the works, you know. Even though Covina looks like it's a nice place. Don't ever get it twisted, homie. Shit cracks anywhere. You get disposed of anywhere at any time. That's just how it is. That's life up in the streets, you know what I mean? The area does not define the individual. Um, so these guys will get it on and pop it. But that's what's up with the Kingside, Covina, right there, ripping for theirs. Here's another neighborhood that's right here in West Covina, but it's not, um... Is not originally from uh, West Covina. It's the Al Capone neighborhood. Now, Al Capone originated in the Aliso Village projects that were knocked down. Uh, they're right there coming from the east side. But they did expand all the way to the SGV. Um, you know what I mean? Right here in Covina. You can find their neighborhood uh, was located, um, I would probably say, uh, from Vincent Avenue all the way to uh, um, Lark Ellen and uh, Roland and from rolling all the way to where the freeway's at. So everything that's in the middle is what's considered their neighborhood. You know what I mean? Uh, so by Workman Avenue, um, by Osborne, um, by uh, Tulin, um, you know, all, all those areas is what's considered their neighborhood. You know, um, that they claim as theirs. Um, and the Al Capone neighborhood, like I said, they originate from the east side. So they're a much older and bigger neighborhood as a whole. But they have only been right here in West Covina since the 2000s. Uh, but established itself pretty well. They're pretty deep out here. You know what I mean? They do have a strong presence and continue to represent theirs and put theirs on the map. Like I said, in the east side, I mean, they don't just stay that far. I mean, they could just, you know, travel to back each other up. So you already know the get down. Um, it's, a lot, it's a lot more larger as a whole neighborhood. Uh, it's not like a really big neighborhood. It's just an average size neighborhood. And uh, they continue to hold it down. That's for the Al Capone neighborhood right there. And here we have another neighborhood uh, that's uh, born and bred out of West Covina. You have the West Covina Project Boys. Uh, yes, the West Covina Project Boys. Um, I know a lot of people think this neighborhood is not real and stuff like that. And no, it's a real neighborhood that's right here in West Covina. Now, their neighborhood is what's located from Sunset Avenue all the way to Roland Avenue. Uh, and from Roland Avenue to uh, um, uh, Garvey Avenue. And from Garvey Avenue all the way to Vicente. So everything that's in the middle is what's considered their neighborhood. You know what I mean? So from uh, 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 Walt, um, Walnut Haven Drive to uh, um, Broadmoor to Shadydale, uh, to, uh, Harley, to, um, Morado, uh, you know, uh, Workman, all of that, all of that was considered their neighborhood, you know, is, is their domain, their dojo, now this, uh, neighborhood is not roughly that large, you know, it's, yeah, I was told that they're roughly about 70 members, uh, roughly around there, so, you know, but one of the more larger ones in, in West Covina, because like I said, the neighborhoods in West Covina aren't that large in, in themselves. Uh, but they do have a presence and continue to rep theirs and still hold it down for theirs. But that's what's up with the West Covina Project Boys right there, holding it down for their barrio. You know what I mean? Um, still repping it right here. And here is probably the more smallest barrio in West Covina or in Covina. You have the barrio... OTK, which stands for Old Town Criminals, located right there in Old Town uh, of Covina. Uh, so what's uh, Minker Avenue and Sunkiss, so where those meet up, is the heart of their hood, their dojo, their main domain. So you can find you can find them on Willow Avenue to Merced Avenue, and um, and yeah, just right there on Minker and Sunkiss where, where where it meets up. It's it's what's their neighborhood, the heart of their domain. Now they're off. They were roughly a small neighborhood. I was told that they were roughly about forty members. Um, but yeah, that's who the OTK neighborhood is, uh, repping for theirs and putting theirs on the map right here, representing for theirs. Haven't been up for that long, only been around here uh, since the late 90s, early 2000s when this neighborhood was established and continue to represent theirs and still holding it down.